Do you have oak cabinets or maybe an oak vanity in your home that's been around, oh, maybe since the mid-70s, something of that nature, maybe the 80s, and you're thinking, I've got to update this. I don't want to get all new cabinets. How can you customize? Well, Kat Torello is here, and she is the woman in the know because she is going to teach us how to do custom finishing on our, ca our oak cabinets. This is fun, Kat. I like this project a lot. How Good. are you? Good. Good. All right, so we're going to start. This is our basic oak door yep. for a cabinet. Yep. And what do and we do to start? What we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and paint the door first. And so I'll just show you how we're going to do this here. Just go ahead and do the edges. All right. And is this just a kind of an off-white, an eggshell paint? This is actually a pale, pale pink. So what mm -hmm. we're doing is a two-tone finish today where we're going to do the pale pink underneath. This is pink? Yeah, it's yeah, pale, pale fine. pink. No, it's, it super, looks it's very cream. pale. All right. And then here you go. Why don't mm -hmm. you try? Do you want me to finish? Do the, do the right. middle part. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the accent color to make it really fun. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna, the best part is you put wax on top of your accent color. Wait a second. Wax? Why wax? Because then the top coat doesn't stick to mm -hmm. the accent color. Oh, okay. And then you can go ahead and sand it off to reveal a two-tone finish which is just oh. a nice clean finish with lots of character. I love that. And then it's fun. You can also just go ahead then and add decorative knobs. Mm -hmm. So good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. there we so go. the key thing you want to remember when you're painting the door is full strokes all the way across. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Well, look at you. You're, you're doing the nice little finishing and then touches. The, and then the edges, when you do the corners, you want to make sure that you do the corner this way. Mm -hmm. And then you go ahead and turn your brush and make it this way. So you want to make sure you follow the grain mm -hmm. really nicely so you have nice, clean edges and corners. Great. So that's our first coat. All right, so we put the pale pink on, paint that, and then you're putting the wax over and right. then the accent color. No, no, so, oh. sorry. Here you go. Here's All your right. wax. All right. And then I'll grab mine here. All right, so what are The second doing? step is to go ahead and put your accent color where it's going to be mostly worn, you know, corners, edges, kind of things across the middle. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to wax that. So you go ahead and put the wax on pretty heavy. Because what that does, then the paint won't stick to this part. Okay. So anywhere you put the wax, the paint won't stick. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I've got the wax on it. And then we take, here's your sandpaper. All right. And this part down here I've done before. So this part, so we're just going to go ahead and then just gently sand through. Whoop. You just go ahead and gently sand through the middle here. And you'll see, let's see, here we go. And you see how what happens then, here's a spot right there Aww. that's been done, <laughs> is that it then brings out whatever your accent color is. Oh. No, I know where they are. Okay. <laughs> there see, you go. you knew, you've got the secret I knew accent where they, color. Well, okay. Once you put them down, so then you know where they are. And then if you go across and sand it. That's what brings out your accent color. Okay, so I guess I'm not getting this. You've got, sorry. you've got, you put the accent color down first, then you paint it over it, then you put the yes, wax. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, I apologize. Oh no, 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 I, was a step I wasn't ahead following. Of you. I was okay, a step you were a step ahead. So accent color first, then the, the pale pink over that, then the wax where you don't want the paint. Right. Okay. Got it. So there, that's kind of the finished product. Yep. Look at that. That's fun. And then coming over here, I love what you did with this cabinet door. Yeah, this, this is, is actually really this is actually a front door. Mm -hmm. And w this is someone's front door. Really? But this is another example of how you can put the wax anywhere you don't want the paint to stick. Mm -hmm. And so we have copper and the blue and then the brown went over top of everything. Okay, if you'd like to try to tackle this yourself, you sure can, but if you'd want to hire Kat to come do it, which I think I'd like to do, how can people get a hold of you? Um, my website or my phone number. Okay, what's your website? TorelloPainting.com. So it's T-O-R-E-L-L-O, -L -L right? Painting.com, and then the number right there, 435-513-1975. All right, these instructions are kind of fun. People can do it themselves. And we'll have them online. Time. Okay. So they can, they can go through and do it themselves. All right, so head to our website, abc4.com, and we'll get you all the instructions and link you to Kat's website as well. So you can call her. This is a fun project. Thanks, Kat. We appreciate you being Thanks. here. All right, five health risks that every woman faces. We'll tell you what they are when we come back.